pork loin with a slight crunch. Check out this savory spin on an old standby from Clovis Community's executive chef. Hello, I'm Jeff Didmore, executive chef at Clovis Community Medical Center, and today we're going to be preparing a herb crusted pork tenderloin. And our ingredients today is a pork tenderloin, breadcrumbs, cider vinegar, Parmesan cheese, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, rosemary, fresh garlic, and whole butter. We're going to make the crust that's going to go on the pork, and then we're going to place the pork in the oven. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by melting the butter. So as our butter melts, we're going to start adding the rest of our ingredients. We're going to add our garlic, our rosemary, cayenne pepper, black pepper, salt, our mustard, and our vinegar. We're going to heat that together, and as that's heated through, then we're going to add the breadcrumbs. We want to stir and mix the breadcrumbs so they get evenly coated, and then we're going to continue to saute them until lightly browned. Now that our breadcrumbs are sauteed and browned, uh, we removed them, we cooled them, and now that they're cool, we're going to add our Parmesan cheese, and we're going to mix that into our breadcrumbs. So we're just going to simply do a classic breading on pork tenderloin. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our pork tenderloin. We're going to dredge it in flour. We want to get it coated all over because that's going to help the egg stick to it. Whenever you're breading, always shake off your excess flour. We're now going to dip it in egg white. We're using egg white today to cut down on some of the fat and the cholesterol. And then we're going to place that on our breadcrumbs. We're going to just slightly start to press down. I'm going to take some of the remaining crumbs and pour it over the top. Okay, once you have the pork tenderloin breaded, you want to place it on a baking sheet. Put that in the refrigerator covered for about 15 to 20 minutes. That helps the breading adhere better to the meat. Uh, after it's been cooled in the refrigerator for that time, take it, roast it in the oven at 350 degrees until the center of the pork reaches 145. Okay, now that we've let it rest, we've sliced it up and you can serve that with anything you like, any side dish, rice pilaf, roasted potatoes, mashed potatoes, you could even do a cauliflowered rice, you can serve it with braised greens, any side dish will work. Enjoy.